everyone, it's Janelle, and I wanted to make an update video for you all because I haven't made a video in a long time, and I've had some people ask me if I should, if I could make a video to update everyone on how I'm doing after my fast, and just how I'm doing in general. So, as far as my endometriosis, I'm still not having any symptoms of even having endometriosis anymore. I'm not having any pain, any contraction episodes I was having. And that is just amazing. I mean, I went through so much pain with endometriosis and had two laparoscopy surgeries for that. And to not have even any symptoms of even having it anymore is fantastic. <laughs> it feels really good. As far as migraines, I'm not having any migraine headache issues. I'm not having headaches every day or migraines. And that was just a huge, huge weight lifted off me. I mean, I had headache and head pain every single day all day for six years straight and to now not have any like I noticed this out when I was fasting but I feel so much more awake and alert and my eyes are more open because I'm not constantly like dulled down and have head pain usually I feel like this but now I feel like this it's really exciting um but yeah I noticed that in Costa Rica when I was sitting at lecture once I was like oh my gosh I feel so much more awake and alert this is crazy and as far as um, stomach issues, because I got salmonella poisoning in 2006 and I had had the effects of that still, I would get irritated easily from food that I ate, but I've been 100% 80-10-10 and I have perfect digestion and it's just, it feels really great to not have stomach aches all the time either. So all my problems are gone and it feels really good to have a dance. <laughs> um, so what else has been going on in my life? I feel amazing. I mean, I've been 100% 80-10-10 since January 1st of 2013. I was struggling for a long time, some of you might not know this, but I struggled really badly to try and stay on 80-10-10, and I now know that I wasn't doing it 100% correctly, and when I went out to fast with Dr. Graham, I learned exactly what I needed to know to follow 80-10-10 to a T, and to stick with it and I've not struggled at all and it feels really amazing and anybody that's struggling with doing something that they want to do and succeed at and then to not be struggling it feels really good and don't ever be afraid of your past experiences because that shapes you as a person and it shapes what you're going through this whole journey it's a journey it's not point A to point B you have to take a journey to get where you want and I took my journey and I'm still going but I'm doing very well and it feels really good to say that I'm not struggling on the diet. I've been fruity, vegan, woo! <laughs> um, let's see. So in August, which is last month, I went to volunteer for Dr. Graham at Presenting Excellence in New York. It was a few days before the actual Woodstock Fruit Festival 2013 and I volunteered there um, along with two friends of mine, Jonathan and Melanie. And to connect with them again was so much fun. And then, of course, to see Dr. Graham, and I saw Grant, Kevin, just a bunch of other pioneers also were at the event. And, of course, I got to reconnect with one of my best friends, Dot, who I hadn't seen since the fast. And that was so exciting. We, When I saw her, we just I dropped everything, and we screamed and ran to each other and hugged. And it was just one of the best feelings ever. And she also brought me a massive bag of fresh medjool dates from the date people. Oh my god, they're so good. And they're going to last me a long time, but they're just like sugar, maple syrup. Oh god, so good. Thank you, Dot. <laughs> um, and presenting excellence was really cool. I got to learn things about how to present better as well and um, learn more techniques so that I'm not so nervous because when I used to present things, I my voice would shake like crazy and I would turn red. and I. I think it's just a process. Later on, I might get better at it, but just got to work at it. And then after presenting excellence a few days was the Woodstock Fruit Festival 2013, and it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I can't even begin to say how much fun I had at this festival. It was seven days, and just meeting people that I hadn't met yet, that I'd only known through uh, Instagram or YouTube, Meeting them in person was so amazing, and hugging them and not just seeing them through a computer screen or an iPhone. 
So that was so much fun. I loved connecting with people. That's my favorite part of the Woodstock Fruit Festival is making friends and connecting with people that share the same lifestyle and values as you do. We had midnight durian parties. Oh my God. I ate so much durian at like midnight, which probably wasn't the best thing to do, but this Woodstock Fruit Festival is only once a year. You gotta go, you gotta go hard at the durian parties. So they had some wicked good durian at the festival and especially one that Chris Kendall picked out for me. And I ate that with Stephanie. It tasted exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream. No joke, this durian was ridiculous. Oh my God, so good. Oh, <laughs> I miss durian. Okay, I haven't had durian in like six days and I'm, I need my durian fix. Yep, gotta get some. Luckily I can get it all year round out here in Massachusetts at the Asian markets, yeah. So I'm gonna go get some soon. I think it should be like a once a week treat. <laughs> Otherwise I'd have it like every day and spend way too much money. But so there was also bonfire drum circles every night. And that was one of my favorite parts of the festival. We just like, there were so many of us around the bonfire dancing to the drums, the didgeridoo. It was just the energy, the positivity and the energy there was just crazy. And it was so much fun meeting people at the fire as well. And then also I, um, I rolled my ankle at one point at the festival. And so I had to sit one night and not dance at the bonfire, but just watching the people dance and all their positivity and how much fun they were having, that was really enjoyable. Um, but yeah, so I rolled my ankle one day at the festival and the first thing that came to my mind was, oh my gosh, I can't dance in the talent show. So I almost broke down in tears, but I held it back. <laughs> but then, of course, I had the best of the best there to work on me and to help me figure out how to um, heal really fast. So Dr. Graham looked at it right away, and then Dr. Sam worked on it too. And with, within like five minutes, I went from not being able to put any pressure on my foot to being able to walk on it with assistance, but it was still kind of painful, so I was on crutches. But within three days, I was able to go from not being able to walk to dancing in the talent show and tapping, which is all feet work, so that was pretty exciting. The talent show, I did three acts this year. I was, I did tap solo, and then I did a, I was doing some ballet to Arnie playing Romeo and Juliet on the piano, and then Tim came in and did some parkour moves, and then we did sword fighting, and it was really fun. And I also did another dance, improvisational dance, to Evan's Didgeridoo. And we did that last year, so to do it again this year was really exciting and to connect with him again because it's just a lot of fun dancing to his music playing. So then, let's see, just eating huge meals of fruit and vegetables with friends on the lawn was one of the best feelings. Just, I mean, I eat my huge fruit meals every day all by myself, but it's okay because I know that everyone around me that eats like me is doing it wherever they're from right now, but just being around people eating the same types of food you are and huge fruit meals, it's just, it's really, it makes you feel really good. It makes you not feel so, such as an outsider, because, I mean, in everyday life where I am, nobody eats like me, so. Um, but that was just so much fun, and eating, they made amazing dinners every night of some nights it was zucchini noodles with three different types of sauces, and then there was a Mexican night. There was low-fat raw vegan falafels one night, which were bomb. Oh, Megan and Chris, you guys are amazing, and I love your stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, the Woodstock Fruit Festival was absolutely amazing. I had so much fun, made so many friends. And then to go, I went to New York City for a few days in stay with Anastasia, and we had so much fun and I went to a bunch of Fruit Lux out there in Highline, in um, Union Square, in Central Park, just and hung out with friends again for another couple days and it was so much fun. So I had two weeks of fantastic time out in New York City. So I want to start making videos more regularly and um, yeah, I just need some ideas of what you want to see me do, recipe videos maybe, or just a day in the life or anything. So leave me comments below of ideas that you want to see me do videos of because I want to start doing more videos. That's all I really had to say about my update video. So I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon.